This is it. This is the stream that everybody has been waiting for. For years and years and years, people were like, Ryan, when's the art stream? Ryan, when's the art stream? And by years, I mean weeks. And by everyone, I mean me in my head. Now you might be saying, Ryan! Ryan. You may say, Ryan, you're taking a sip from your seltzer. And maybe think of a better time to take a sip from your seltzer than mid-conversation. You may say, Ryan! You don't draw. What the fuck are you talking about? You're right, I don't. But, I used to. I used to. And what I have to the right of me here... There's no camera, but uh, I will describe it to you. Here, listen. Hear that? Oh, I just burped. Sorry. I'll do it again. That is a plastic tub full of what I assume is every single drawing I've ever drawn my entire life. And I had scanned this art a long time ago, but uh, my hard drive crashed. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, everything that isn't on DeviantArt uh, now only exists in physical form. Because, stupid me, I didn't back it up anywhere. Uh, which I'm going to do this time. I'm going to put it on an external hard drive. And, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna- I'll probably vacuum seal all this shit. To be honest. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I should get, like, a vacuum pack and just, like, vacuum seal my art. And just, like, <laughs> once I scan it. It's like, nope, just shove it in the closet somewhere. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna be scrolling through all this art. Uh, let me show you the, the really professional setup I have for this. Hold on. And while we're doing that, we're also going to be playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Which, who, who gives a shit? Okay. Who gives a shit? That takes a back seat to the fucking art, okay? Back fucking seat. Alright? So as you can see, you might be asking yourself, Ryan, why are we starting at book nine? I... Uh, it was the first one I grabbed. Yes, Star Butterfly is on the cover of the book. <laughs> Lin Hognito is here because I had a bunch of empty space. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Lin Hognito shows up again. Yeah, I got Star on there. I was once a fan. I was like, this is the next Gravity Falls. Boy, oh boy, was I correct. Everybody loves and remembers everything that happened in Star vs. the Forces of Evil. I have everyone in front of me. I have a Epson XP300. Yes, I have an actual scanner in front of me. Uh, as shown on the stream, I have put a picture of it from some sort of website. Well known for its wonderful ending and, and wonderful morals in that the bad guys are bad and we should commit genocide. That show got weird and not good. <laughs> that show got weird and not good. <laughs> I actually never finished it. I made it about halfway through. God, how many seasons do they even have? I made it to the episode where Star is like, I'm in love with you, Marco. And then I was like, okay, I'm done. And, and then I don't think I watched like, yeah, I don't think I watched any past that episode. But I, but I hear segregation. I hear segregation happened. So that's cool, I guess. Anyways, welcome to the Breath of the Wild art scan stream. I don't know if there's any art in this book. Is there? Oh, why did I draw these? Okay, so this is more recent art. And by more recent, I mean like 
2018. Why did I draw these? These must have been for a thumbnail. Or, or maybe I was just doodling. Anyways, I'm going to begin the scanning process now. So, hold on to your hats. This is gonna get fucking crazy, okay? Once I find the button to boot up the scanner, it's all it's all over, motherfuckers. Once I find the scan button, it's all over. I found it. I found the scan button. Once once I once I pin it to the taskbar, it's all over. I'm scanning. Wait. Yes. Okay. It's going. It's doing it. Anyways, Breath of the Wild, I guess. I played a little bit today. Uh, I did some shrines, basically. Uh, I still only have three heart containers, so I'm basically fucked. Uh, I wanted to go back to Kakariko Village and, and actually, like, maybe buy armor would be smart, I think. So let's do that. Birth of the Wild. I don't think it's called that. Oh, it's... Oh. Oh, that's weird. It auto-scanned this. Hold on. Of course, it didn't fucking work. Hold on. Let me show you. Okay. Oh, why doesn't it open in the same fucking one? That is absurd. Hold on. There you go. There you go. So it, it auto-scanned this art that I drew back in, like, 2018 of the kids from Mother 1. And then it also auto-scanned Teddy, who was drawn a, at a different angle and automatically, like, cropped it? That's weird. That's weird. Oh, now Teddy's not here. Cool. Yeah, he's got dirt glasses that completely he does he's gone teddy no longer exists sorry also it's auto cropping which i'm not a huge fan of this is not a perfected science okay but anyways that'll disappear every now and again i guess so let me let me get a new scan no 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 why are you scanning again No. It's scanning again. Why are you doing that? <laughs> the stream is a nightmare. Yeah, it's scanning it again. I don't know why. That's hilarious. I love technology, guys. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to jump down here to Kakariko Village real quick. And try to buy some armor. How was everyone's day, by the way? How y'all doing? Why is not the armor place? Where is the armor place? Yeah, okay. Alright, I'm seeing the issue. Every time I try to click on this link... Oh, no. It it didn't do it. This, that's weird. I'm watching this with breakfast. Yeah, why did you just wake up? That's what it originally looked like. I don't know why I didn't crop this time. I don't understand this program. I'm deleting that. By the way, I reserve the right to uh, not scan some images if I don't like them. I was high last night. I see. During the stream? You seem pretty lucid, though. I don't know. You didn't seem as high as you usually are. Here's another one. This is my D&D &D character? No. Is it? Yeah, this is my D&D &D character. Why is a... Why... Why is he a pirate? Well, you're gonna get to see my D and D character, who's dressed like a pirate for some reason. I don't know why. I also don't remember what his name was. For the Cassie part, oh. Well, that's okay. The Cassie part wasn't much. What just happened? 
Oh, it's the blood moon. I've heard uh, an NPC told me about this. Link. 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 Yeah. Be on your guard. Ganon's power grows. It rises to its peak under the hour of the blood moon. Okay. By its glow, the aimless spirits of monsters slain in the name of the light return to flesh. Link. Please be careful. I mean, but what if I just sleep until it's over? Can I just do that? Like, probably, right? Oh, it's all spooky. Look. Uh, anyways, here's here's my D&D &D character. I don't know why he's just like a pirate. I don't remember if he was a pirate. I also don't remember what his name was, but I do remember that he had a gun, an angelic, an angelic gun that he stole from God, I think. Who's that blue milf in the corner? That's Lynn Hognito, an anthropomorphized version of my uh, childhood piggy bank. Listen, I don't have time to, <laughs> time to unpack all that. Uh, but yeah, my D&D character stole a gun from God. Or something. I don't listen. I don't remember. No, it's okay. It's based. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, it's based, guys. So it's okay. I don't need arrows. Also, I'm wearing a hat that makes me look like, uh, what's-his-face from Xenoblade. Uh, it helps with my climbing. Where is the armor shop? Okay, next start. <laughs> Next start. This one's unfinished, but I'll scan it anyways because I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care. Scan that shit. Oh, there's the armor shop. I see it. you quote unquote level up yeah what is like <laughs> what is the experience system in this game is it based on like how many shrines you've completed I want to buy armor that's 700 rupees it's not even that good of armor this is more that's more my style that's only three armor, though. What's, like, good armor? I like this hood, though. That hood's cool. Well, my current garb is only one armor anyways, so you know what? Good enough. Uh, here is an unfinished drawing. I'm assuming I was drawing these for... my thumbnails, or at least putting them on the stream? I don't know why I was drawing them. But I guess I was. As you guys could see, I have a very ugly art style. So shield your eyes, I guess, if you're allergic to bad art. <laughs> Mine's funny, cool MS Pain adventure. Maybe someday. Maybe someday we'll finish that. So I guess my full armor right now is nine, which isn't bad. Okay, next art. Let's see here. It's not ugly, it's cute. Oh, thanks. I have a drawing of Cure Papaya here. Oh, you know what? I remember why they are look unfinished. Wait, really? Yeah, I have a drawing of Cure Papaya. I, I remember why they look unfinished. It's because um, this is the period of time where I stopped using uh, I stopped using my peach colored colored pencil, and instead I um, I used digital to color in the skin tone so it'd be more solid. I don't remember the reason. Maybe I was running out of peach colored 
colored pencils? I don't know. Just, it seems like a lot of work to me. But yeah, I have a drawing of Cure Papaya here. This, this book I'm scanning right now is the last book before I stop draw, uh, before I stop drawing. I don't have a weapon equipped. By the way, I had my first experience with lightning off stream, and I remembered at the last half a second before I got struck by lightning, what happens if you're wearing metal, uh, items during lightning storms. So I, uh, I quickly avoided being struck by lightning. Just by chance, I, I remembered. I was like, all right, all right. I was like, why, is, why am I sparking? And I'm like, oh God, right. So I think that's why I unequipped all this shit. Okay, better. It's kind of dripped out though. For some reason, I thought you meant IRL. <laughs> uh, all right, here's Cure Papaya. And, uh, I drew, I guess I drew a little tart also, but I never finished the tart. I guess I wasn't happy with it. That papaya's not bad. I can see the next page, like, leaked through the scan. I see a tart, and I see a chiffon back there on the next page. Ryan, that's Cure Pine. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I'm so sorry. Listen, I've been out of it all day. It's been a long day. It's close enough. I like your pine. I'm sorry. That's not papaya. Oh, no. I'm so dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're both yellow cures. I don't know. There's, there's like 76 cures now, and I'm like, oh. Ah. <laughs> All right, next one. Actually, I might not even scan the next page. The next page might just be... Yeah, there's like 76 cures. I know all of their names, but I do not remember. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm not going to scan the next page. It's pretty dumb. Uh, that's a meme page. Oh, this is... um. Now I remember why I was drawing uh, Cure Pine. This is from... Somebody put together a Magical Girl compendium on the internet. I don't know if it's still around, but they wanted artists to come in and, and draw every single Magical Girl. And uh, Isu and I drew a few. Nox also drew a couple. I wonder if this is still around. But yeah, they just had people adding magical girls to the compendium and, and drawing art. And uh, I drew a couple cures. Isu drew a couple cures. Nox drew a couple cures. Uh, and this one I drew is this one coming up is not a cure. This is uh, I can't remember her name, but it's the fictional magical girl in the universe of Yuri Yuri. Kirado, Kirado. Ah, I, I don't know. It's been fucking forever. But I noticed she wasn't on the list, and I was like, eh, fuck it. Fuck it. Mir Mirakadun? Maybe it's Mir Mirakadun. But I drew her. Obviously, I, I used digital editing to color in her skin. I don't know why I was doing that. Pansuchan. No, no Pansuchan. Alright, next page. I gotta start making my way to the research center, by the way. Oh! Speaking of which, I have another cure on the next page. Ryan, these girls are so cute. Thank you. Yeah, this is, like I said, we're starting with the best. It only gets worse from here, and I apologize. I definitely figured out how to draw a lot better. I didn't draw hands. Um, for a very, very long time. In fact, I kind of just didn't. Uh, and then I eventually I was like, all right, I'm going to start drawing hands no matter how bad they turn out. I forced myself to draw hands. All right, we got to make our way over here. As you can see, I died there recently. 
Um, I'm actually not in a bad place. Yeah, I don't own my horse, so he has just given up on me. Oh no, it's cropping the photo. Oh no, it's cropping the photo. What are these crops? Hold on. <laughs> so I have it on auto mode. Auto. Auto mode. Uh, and I can see it cropping. And here, here are the crops that it's come up with, all right? All right, Splash Star, obviously. Uh, it is... <laughs> it has cut off the fairies. It has cropped that, one of the fairies. And this is the third crop. Which is the bottom of the notebook. Cool fucking crop. This is... This is, um, software from... I don't know. Although, this was the Windows 10 version, so I guess not as old as we would think. Uh, that one I'll keep. Good enough. I got the important part. Next drawing! What do we got? Um. Oh, that's a sketch of Cure Star. Uh, Nox is pretty Cure OC. Uh, this is Jimmy's the Penguin Fairy. Oh, this is all, um... Shit. Yeah, Ryan art. I have Cuphead Ryan. That's not... This one I colored digitally. Like, fully. But you know what? Just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna scan it anyways. It's it's Nebulous. Uh, my Precure OC. Um, when she's going through it. It's a very emotional drawing. Yeah, uh, this is this is Neb before redemption, before becoming a cure. Uh, this is Neb realizing that maybe, uh, maybe not everything is as it seems. This is Interstellar Pretty Cure, by the way. You can look it up. It's Isu's, unfortunately, never finished. Is this a Yiga Clan member? I'm always so I've run into a few. Uh, a few Yiga clan members today. That was fun. Uh, there's Neb. So this was a, this is a full drawing that I did and, and did like a bunch of, uh, like, I just scanned this and, and did the rest in GIMP. So like, it, it, it turned out pretty good, but I didn't even bother coloring this. But there's, there's Neb. There you go. Uh, Christ, I hate transmeds. Yeah, dude, me too. But like, what? <laughs> what prompted that? Doki Doki Precure Love Court. Oh, I I tried making a logo for one of another one of Isu's uh, Precure series. Oh. Oh shit! It's um. Oh, Interstellar Precure. Interstellar Precure. You can find it. It's on AO3. It's a good read, but Isu kind of, like, lost interest. Well, no, nah, not lost interest, but, like, Isu lost uh, motivation. There, there are, like, seven or eight chapters. Here comes a drawing of my fan troll. Not not Ryan, not not Phantom. Uh this is my other fan troll. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm blanking right now. I don't remember what her name is. She was an a, a an adoptable that I got for free a long time ago. And I named her Somebody's walking. Hello? Hi. Are you a Yiga Clan member? <laughs> I just, I don't know anymore. There are horses there. What is her name? What is her name? Lin it starts with an L. Is it Lydia? Might be Lydia. It might be Lydia. 
maybe. You remember her? Yeah, that's right. A few people drew her during the, the Homestuck portion. People drew fan art of her, which was nice. A couple people. I was, like, blown away by that. It was very cool. I wish I could remember her name. I am so fucking stupid. All right, next art. I'm actually, I think this book is almost done. Didn't you also have a Nancy Drew fan troll? I can't remember if Noel Hunter was a fan troll. Uh, here's a drawing of me in my god tier clothes. So this must have been... This must have been 2018. This must have been the revival of Homestuck. I want that horse. Oops. What? 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 What is a transmed? I don't even know. I don't even know what that is. I just assumed it was somebody you're supposed to hate. Am I right? Am I wrong? Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a creature. Yes? Okay, got it. Transmet is a bad thing. Got it. I will remember that. Is it like a turf? I know turfs are bad. Oh, come on! I'm sneaking! I want that blue horse! Come here! Yes! Yes, come to me! He loves me! What? No! <laughs> no! Come here! No! Let me love you! <laughs> I'm running after it. I don't give a shit. Where's this horse? I think he despawned. Oh my god. No, there he is. Oh my god. I don't want to fight the Bobblins. Yes! Yes! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. No, 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 no. No, it's okay. No, I don't want to fight the Bobblins. Come here. No! Oh my god! This horse is the best! Come here! No! <laughs> no! I hate you, Bobblins! Get out of here! Please, 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 please. No! Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, it fucked me up. I need this horse. No. Well, luckily I think I have the... Oh, well, I was going to say luckily I think I have the horse stun locked, but never mind. Oh, no, I need this horse. I don't even know if I'm, like, soothing it correctly. Come on. Yes. Nowhere to run, bitch. Nowhere to run. Ow. Ow. Oh, my God. I almost just fucking fell off the cliff. Where did you go? I don't know if I'm doing it right. I'm like mashing it. You might not have enough stamina. No, I need, I need this horse. You don't understand. Look at it. Look at it. I 
did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I demash faster. There's a Stalfos there, or whatever it's called. Horsey. Horsey. We're really in it now. Horsey. 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 We're, we're really in it now, Horsey. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. Get on the horse. Get on the horse. Horse. Go. Yes. 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 Four stamina. Yes. Let's go. Do not. No. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes. Ride. Ride like the wind. How do I keep horses? Where do I stable this? I'm not going the right way. I got completely sidetracked by this horse. Oh, I'm going the complete wrong direction. In the stables. Yeah, but like, where are the stables? I found a stable with two, like, snot-nosed little kids. And all they did was teach me about horses. And I couldn't stable my horse. What is that thing? What is that thing? There's like a thing prancing over there. I don't like that. Most towers have a visible stable. Okay. Talk to the guy at the counter. Okay. It's okay, buddy. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I need to scan. <laughs> uh, did I scan a new image? I did. There's me in my god tier pajamas. Do I have anything else on this book? I don't have art in this book, but what I do have is me tracking the characters of of I Claudius, because <laughs> I was watching the the British the BBC television show I Claudius from the 1970s, and I was tracking which characters were which and who was married to who and who was fucking who. Uh, don't ask. I have weird. I have a weird life. I have a weird life outside of this stream, okay? I just do things. I don't know why. Oh, there's a temple over here. I'm glad he, I didn't even want to be in this sector of Hyrule right now, but... I am scanning something right now. There was another piece of art in there. I've told you guys about uh, my D&D character, Uncle Oscar. Uh, the lizard, the lizard, the lizard, uh, lizard kind that, uh, lies and, and tells everyone he's a dragonborn. Um, and, uh, tells everyone he's their uncle and, uh, tries to con you out of your money. Well, I have a drawing of him, <laughs> I guess. This is Uncle Oscar. So I guess technically I've drawn a furry. Or a scaly. There you go. There you go. In case you ever wanted to know. That's Uncle Oscar. <laughs> he goes, hey, it's me, Uncle Oscar. You got that money? Got any money for you, Uncle Oscar? Come on, I used to babysit you when you were a kid. What is... What the fuck is this? Kimmy... What? What is this? Homestuck? What is this for? I have written in big letters, Homestuck Orgy, and then on the next page, Gimme Ritz Cracker, and then the next page, oh. Cassie is holding me hostage, please help. This must have 
Pen during the Cassie Homestuck stream? Maybe I was... Oh, she might have muted me. She probably muted me because I was saying horrible, horrible things. And I had my camera on and I... St <laughs> That's probably what it was. And then I have written here, Ryan stream now, bitches. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Ryan Phantom. Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> I like we were able to get that from context clues. Alright, that's the end of this book. Uh, there really wasn't much to it, to be honest. This, Like I said, this was the end of my tenure as an artist. But uh, that was book nine. I never made it to book ten, I guess. I probably have ten books, but I, I started numbering them at some point. Nova, would you like to see Precure OCs? Because it's not just Neb. I have two more. I was coming up with my own Precure series before I forgot that uh, I don't know how to write. Uh <laughs> so these were characters that never really went anywhere. Uh, oh, they lived in France. Why did they live in France? All right, whatever. All right, so the premise of this series. Let me scan the first one. The premise of this Precure series uh, was that it was Precure Sunday Surprise. They were uh, ice cream themed. They were twin sisters. One of them was trans. Um, and they didn't know... It was basically Miraculous Ladybug, now that I think about it. But better. Um, they didn't know that they were Precure. They were like partner cures, but they didn't know that they were, they were Precures. Yeah. And... And, no, it, get, it gets better. It gets better. One of the villains, who was basically like an evil Precure, who eventually gets redeemed. Yeah, turns out they weren't twins. They were triplets. And separated from her at birth. Because she got kidnapped by the bad guys. Yeah. And she would eventually be redeemed to become the third cure. I never designed her. But I have the other two here. There you go. This is Cure Peppermint Stick. Ramona Summers. I don't know why I picked Ramona. Uh, I wrote details. and I really like that one. I can tell I really used like... All of the creative knowledge with this one, and specifically. Yeah, they still don't know. They don't know who they are. Summer's flowers, summer's fly. Yeah, whatever. Ryan, send me the scan. I'll redraw them. Holy shit. All right, fine. Fine. I never drew the third one, like I said. Uh, I have the other twin. I, I'm going to be real with you. I don't remember which one was trans. <laughs> but you know what? That's... Hey. Hey, man. Could be either. Could be either. You know... All right, I'm scanning the second one. Come on, horsey. Oh, yeah, we should do this temple while we're out here. Huh? Who? Oh, you there. Hey! Hi. Oh! Hi! I like the designs of these creatures. They're cool. I apologize for calling on you so suddenly. 
I am Leto, a proud member of the Distinguished Zora. As you are a real Hylian, I had no choice but to call upon you. Here is the twin sister. So, she's gay and has a girlfriend. Yeah, she's a she's a soccer player. A lot of the precures like were sport people, so I was like, oh, I'll make her a soccer player. Fuck it. But yeah, she was a cookie dough. Pure cookie dough. So yeah, that was uh I I am not I'm creatively bankrupt when it comes to writing. I think I wrote like a uh prologue chapter and that was basically it. I also have their details on their weapons as well. I listen, I I started coming up with the fairies and that's about the time I was like, ah, this is never going to go anywhere. Fuck it. I give up. Hmm? You spare me a moment of your time. Sure. Oh. oh. Yes. Do you see that tower? The one atop the mountain yonder? I need you to go there. To the tower? To the tower. I need you to go upstream of Zor River, which runs along the north side of the tower, to Inogo Bridge. Uh. I can see it in your eyes. You're asking yourself, why me? A reasonable question for a stranger accosted by passing Zor in such a manner. Oh. But I assure you, this venture will be very profitable for you as well. You see, Prince Sidon, oh boy, that's the one everyone wants to fuck, of the Zora is in desperate search of a strong Hylian. Uh, here are the uh, Precure weapon details as well. See, so I had the Soft Serve Scepter, Compact Cone, flips out to be a walkie talkie. Dude, I had it all planned out. It, it, you guys know what it's like. In your head, it's all like, it all makes sense. And this was one of those times where I like, creatively, I was able to draw it. But besides that, not much else. But you know, Toei, call me up. Call me up. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll let you, I'll let you have free reign. You can do it. Just don't make them white. Please, God. Oh, yo! Yo! Wait a minute! Fire no way. Get this man on board. Caramel. Fudge, Ramona, Caramel, Sammy. Oh, those are the, those are the fairies. I have... I have a list... You're kidding me. I have a chapter one layout writing here. I'm going to read it. And I want to draw them at some point. Absolutely. Be my guest. I have a chapter one layout, though. Uh, prologue. Birth at the hospital. The girls wake up in the present. Quick breakfast scene. Cut to fudge and caramel. Shooting down from space. Avoiding a lackey from the Froyo Nation. That's right. The bad guys were the Froyo Nation. Uh, Caramel and, and Fudge were the fairies. I don't remember what kind of animals they were. Uh, they decide to split up. The twins arrive at the bus stop. Fudge sneaks up to them and hops onto Ramona's bag. On the bus, Sammy sits with her girlfriend. Ramona sits next to them. Cut back to Caramel getting caught by the Froyo henchman. Bring me to your little friend. Gym class. Sammy is doing a sport like crazy. Ramona is off to the sidelines with a doctor's note. All of a sudden, Fudge pops out of her bag, asking her to help his friend. Ramona climbs under the bleachers for a bit, uh, for a bit of a plot dump from Fudge. Hold on. This is the second page. Fudge is from the Whipped Cream Kingdom. Uh, went to the Froyo Nation to save their friend Jimmy's. Got chased down to Earth. Mental distress signal. People start screaming. The Froyo guy is attacking. He has caramel in his hand. Fudge tells Ramona she can help by becoming a sacred guardian. When Ramona sees her sister trying to fight the guy with the soccer ball, she agrees. Fudge does this whole contract spiel. Ramona agrees. Ramona transforms for the first time. She fires a blast of energy at the guy. She asks who he is. He lets go of Caramel. He is Foxtrot, one of the Froyo Nation's top men. He talks for a bit. Ramona just starts blasting. 
After a bit of fighting, when it all looks like Ramona will lose, a new cure enters. Cookie dough. That's all I have. There you go. See, guys? I'm not creatively bankrupt. At one point in my life, I knew how to do things, apparently. Oh, I have... Oh, I have actually, like, beta art of the two as well. Top men. I have neb art. Hold on. I've definitely posted this before, but I'm going to scan it anyways because it's good art. I have art of the fairies uh, here. Caramel's a chinchilla, Fudge is a koala, and Jimmy's is a penguin. So, I guess that answers that question. Uh, I have beta art of Cure Peppermint Stick. Uh, I've drawn Cure Peppermint Stick three times, because I've got another beta art of both of them. Sunday Surprise Pre Cure. Oh, I wrote a date on this! Smart! January 7th, 2018, this beta art was drawn. So that was what? That was before Friend Sim, right? That tracks. That tracks. Alright, scanning. Uh, sorry, Lido. One sec. There you go. That's, uh, this is the neb. Uh, what's the word? Reference sheet, I guess? That's the neb reference sheet. You have evil civilian form, uh, evil outer limits form, uh, redeemed civilian form, and then uh, cure form. Man, I'm thinking back to when I had creative vision. <sighs> where did the where did the years go? <laughs> where did the years go? that to the side. Uh, I don't need to scan the fairies. They look bad. Uh, I don't need to scan that one, but I will scan this one, which is the beta drawings of the twins. And then we'll move on to something that is not Precure. <laughs> At least I think it's not. Uh, it's a royal request from the prince himself. It's safe to assume a generous reward is in the cards. That's why I'm asking you to meet with Prince Sidon at Inogo Bridge along the Zora River. It's just upstream here. Got it. Can I do the temple first? Just kidding. Of course I can. Bye. That horse better stay there. Oh, fuck. So what is this thing? Is this like a Lizalfos? What is this thing called? Oh, well. Go in there. Oh, he can attack from the water. That's not good. Dead. I think my horse will be fine. He's over there. I can see him. Oh, this one's like covered in spikes. What? Hold up. Can I not access this one? It's covered in brambles. Oh, I was going to try to sneak up on him, but that didn't work. <laughs> Gotta brain it. I don't know if I have the right power to, um, to get around it, though. That's my point. I mean, obviously, the... the the smart move would be hopping off the mountain and like floating over. Would that work? You have every power that matters for puzzles. Okay, I see. I wonder if this tower would work. 
my horse is like, dude, what the fuck? Yeah, this could work. <laughs> you fucking asshole. I was at the top. Come on. Well, Link's a climbing. Uh, here's the uh, here's the beta art of the two twins. As you can see, it's not as polished as the the final the final forms. Cookie dough changed a lot, actually. I like I made her butch. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess she's butch. Fine. Oh. I wasn't paying attention and I, I fucking walked right over the fucking tower. <sighs> My horse, I think, is disappointed in me. What's his face is probably also disappointed in me. God. I really wish that sensor didn't make that beeping noise. <laughs> like, the sensor is really useful. I unlocked it off stream. It beeps when you're close to a temple. But goddamn, I wish there was a way to turn off the sound and maybe just have the controller vibrate. Because it is so fucking annoying. You can turn it off. Can you? How do? Did I miss that option? Oh! No, I don't want to turn the sensor off. I need the sensor. Yeah, I wish... I wish I could turn up the sound. This ain't gonna work. Nah. We can't use the tower. We, we're gonna have to fly over from the mountain or some shit. Fuck that. I'll come back later. I will stamp my current location with one of these. I did go back and remove the stamps that I foolishly placed yesterday. My horse is going in the water. What up, horse? Walk into the club like, what up? I got a big horse. Okay. Next scan. Never ending story. <laughs> he, just sinks, he just sinks in. Uh. Alright. That's that. I think that's it for the Precure art, probably. I stopped drawing before Laura Lemur existed. Believe me, if if I was in a drawing mood when Laura Lemur hit the scene, oh, it would have been all over. These this would have been notebooks full of Laura art. All right, next book. This one I'm probably not gonna scan, to be honest. This one is full of. Way too old art. Way too old. I'm talking 2005. This ain't happening. And I used to like... You put your long drawer drawings into me. Yeah, true. True. Yeah, we're skipping that book. Uh, Okay. I will now be... This is, oh, this is book 10. Oh, I do have a book 10. How does that make any sense? I don't even know what's in this book. I'm going to scan the cover, though. I don't know if there's anything in this book. 
I guess we're gonna find out. I'm scanning the cover first. Why would there be a book 10? All right, bye, Nova. Good horsey. Good horsey. There's a fire over here, horsey. I've noticed that the horses are kind of hard to control. Is that just how the game works, or do I have to, like, gain the trust of the horse friend? Oh, that's not, like, a good fire. That's, like, a bad fire. Let's not do that. Like, can the horses control better? Both? Okay. Oh. Eyeball. Gotta gain their trust, but also they have a mind of their own. Yeah, like, the horse is just, like... He's, like, kind of leaning to the to the right sometimes for no reason. Or the left. He'll just, like, start going his own way. Like the Fleetwood Mac song. And I'm like, dude, come on. I see another temple over there. I don't want to abandon my horse, though. But... But I do gotta start... Well, I guess I'll just backtrack, then. I was always heading in the wrong direction, is the thing. Uh, that is the cover of Book 10. It's hideous. I just sticker-bombed the thing. Some of these have a lot better covers than the others do. But this one, I, I remember... I think this was the Walmart book. I think this one I brought to work so I could just doodle if I wanted to. What is that fairy thing? I don't like it. Is it evil? Is it good? It's probably evil, right? Let's not find out. Trying. I don't know how deep this gets. I don't know if it's just like a bog. I know, bud. I see bad guys. Sorry. Come on. Let's just stay asleep. No, 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 no. Just stay asleep. It's fine. Oh. Well. Oh, well. There's a lot of them, actually. Hi. I don't... Don't worry about it. Psst, don't worry about it. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine, horse. Hold on, guys. Don't attack me for a second. Right, let me open this book. Shit. Yeah, this is from Walmart. For some reason, there's more Cure Nebula art in here. This is also from 2018. I don't know if any of this is worth scanning. Well, that one's kind of funny. This one's kind of funny. I drew my dogs and Nutmeg. May they rest in peace. This is a funny drawing. I'll scan this one. Okay. Okay. Uh, Dakatus. Sunken scoop. Scooped. that on it <laughs> is that not what I was supposed to do come on 
Come on. Come on. I'm just a little guy. Oh, well, I tried to pick it up, but that didn't happen. How do I... Oh, ladder. Uh, I've got a drawing here of my dogs and my cat. It's pretty good. I like how it, the next page just bleeds through, because fuck it, I guess. pretty funny drawing though it's pretty good it looks like a child's drawing yeah the next drawing I am definitely scanning this is a drawing from the Precure Fan Awards and it's uh it's Nebula walking the red carpet at the Precure Fan Awards I forgot I even drew this Woof meow. Thank you again. Very cool. Oh, do I have to? I have to get them in, in there? Oh, do I? I have to toss them, I think. Okay. No, not that. Pick up and then R. So, yeet. Oh, that's not even fucking almost close. What? Oh, maybe if I, um, no, 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 no. Okay. Maybe if I, like, stasis them and whack them, maybe that would work. No, hold on. Okay, and then... Yeah? Oh, I see. That wasn't enough, but this, this might be it. One. So can I just hold on? I might not have to do this from the ice. Could probably just do that, right? And then probably that. Well, let me equip a new weapon. Hold on. Okay. Oh, I need like a... I need like a... Wow! Okay. I need to back up first of all. Because I keep like whacking the gate. Alright, how about here? I need a faster weapon that's not two-handed. Do I own anything that's not two-handed? I have the pitchfork. How fast is the pitchfork? Oh my god, are you kidding me? I mean, not really the direction I wanted to go in, but... Maybe I do have to be in the ice. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not good at this game. I 
I'm trying. I'm trying. Be nice to me. It's my birthday. It's not. It's actually. It's actually. It's not. <laughs> The intended solution is uses no ice, or weapons, or stasis. <laughs> You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> That's really funny. It ain't gonna happen, but it's really funny. Oh my- my weapon! The intended solution uses no ice or weapons or stasis. No ice? Then how do you get him out the water? What is that? How do I dive? Sunken scoop. Yeah, but like, how do I... Sunken... Oh, is that magnetic? Oh, is that why? Oh. I, I see. I see. Say more. I see. Anyways, here's a drawing of Nebula. Drinking a coffee. Yeah, it's magnetic. Okay. Listen, I don't know. Through her skin, I assume. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, scoop. Come on, scoop. Scoop! Oh, fucking God. Had to get it off the wall. That was so hard. Guys, mission over. Come with me. How could this be? Okay, put this fucking thing down. Alright, so what's the deal here? I'm assuming I have to drop the pot onto that to hold down the button. Oh, so maybe if I just drop ball, drop ball on top of the other thing, that might work. Come here. Come here. He got brain. He got brain. He got that big brain. 
What up? I got a big cock. Alright, let me see what else is in this book. This guy is real intelligent, Ivan. Oh, uh, there's nothing. It literally has three pages of drawings, and that's it. Cool. All right, well, uh, book 10's done. Uh-oh, guys. We're entering the cringe. Oh, man, is any of this worth saving? Is any of this worth saving? Oh, sees Molly Catherine. Molly Catherine. Yeah, I do remember drawing this. Oh, my God. What? What is this? Oh, guys. Guys, I don't think any of this is worth saving. I think it should all be burned. I'm just going to scan this one. This one OC to give you a taste of what we're looking at here. It belongs in a museum, yeah. More like belongs in the trash. <laughs> what is that? Cassie posted a picture in the general chat in public and it's scary and I don't like it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I didn't know you'd still be out here. Uh. Alright, well, I'll see you guys later. Oh, well. Yeah, just get off the horse. Great. Oh, there's a guardian. There's a guardian and it's alive. La 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 la. No, I really deeply want to know what that is, but I'm being chased by a monster. S something's in a swamp saying, la 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 la. And I can't stop to look at it because I'm going to be killed. Oh, and that creepy evil baby is over there. Right. Hi, I'm back again. <laughs> okay, bye. La, 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 la. No, 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 no. <laughs> calm, calm down. <laughs> Soothe the horse. Here you go. Soothe. Oh, that's why I didn't want to go this way. I literally said to myself, oh, dude, there's a guardian here. I probably shouldn't go this way. Well, guys, here we go. Time to die. Maybe he's a friendly guardian. Nope. 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 Guys? Guys, he's not a friendly guardian. Holy shit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Ah, oh, he's right there! Things are scary, and I don't like them.
Yeah, it's because my horse is the best. Stop it. Stop that. Get some help. Alright, come on, horse. We're not going that way this time. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. This horse does not want to go the direction I want it to go. God damn. So we're going to go around the long way. What is that thing? I mean, I know what it is. It's a bowl. But why does it exist in the Zelda universe? Here's Molly Catherine, by the way. To give you an idea of how I designed OCs back in the day. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why she's evil. I don't even know who she is. What? Where am I? Okay. And then we'll loop around. No. She does have a whip. That's the whip from Vampire Survivors, obviously. I predicted it. Does this have a year on it? Oh, sure does, bud. What's that? Ryan Phantom, uh, June 1st, 2011, you say? Well, if you insist. I think the rule of what I scan should be... If it- if I deem that it looks decent enough, I will scan it. But if I deem that that shit looks like ass, nah, not worth saving, if you ask me. Right, Haunts? I like this fun little horse, horse music. Okay, that's just back where we were. If I want my horse to come with me, I guess I'll have to go around the long way. I just realized that the, the stamina bars are, are, uh, spurs. I was like, what are those? Like, laser blasts? No, they're, they're fucking spurs, dumbass. No. They're lasers. No. No. See, he he goes like, rrr, rrr, and then he like pulls to the left or the right. He just does whatever he wants. Okay. Let's pick another art here. Hello. I just heard my garage door open. Uh, one sec, guys.
Yeah, the horse got me. He opened up my garage door and he was like, fuck you. Alright, let's see here. Anything else worth saving in this book that isn't cringy? If I look at it and it's cringy, it's not getting scanned. That's the rule. That's the rule. Alright. Uh. Nah. Cringy. Cringy. Oh, very, very, very cringy. Yep. Cringe. Yep. This might not be a very good base <laughs> for what I should scan. This is all cringe. Alright, this, this one's cringe. But, you know what? It's cringe, but it's cute. I remember this was a popular art meme. So, this one gets scanned. Hi, Millie. Welcome to the Ryan Phantom art segment. You know how, like, you're good at art? Well, prepare your eyes. <laughs> Peter, the horse is here. No horse. How do I get there? My horse turned around. How did my horse turn around? What? Yeah? Yeah, my horse turned around somehow. I don't know how that happened. Tad Habercorn's here, by the way. Have you met him? <laughs> Can you ask us how it was drawing, drawing Kuroro Gunso? No, not drawing, sorry. Can you ask him how it was voicing Kororo in the dub? Can you show him this art I drew of my fan my fan frog? Um <laughs> What is my horse doing over here? Yeah, sure. Yeah, thanks. Uh, anyways, uh, this was a art meme on DeviantArt. That's why I drew this. You can see art in the background. It's... I think it's Fiona and Finn, like, fist-bumping or some shit. I don't know. He wasn't Marty McFly for nothing. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Anyways, I scanned this. This one's not... This one's not that cringy. This one's kind of cute. This one's kind of cute. You know, the rest of it's cringy. Come on, Haunts. Oh, by the way, I saw your drawing of Rarity. No. Why do I keep saying drawing? Okay, Melly and I just... I was wondering what that noise was. Dad just fired up the race car. I was like, holy shit, did something just explode outside? Well, that did take me backwards. I don't know where this... Comes. Whatever. Anyways... Melly just sends me gay horse art, and Melly sent me art of Kanaya Mariam and Rarity ch chillin'. And it was great, and it made my morning, and it was wonderful. So thank you for sending me that. Stop it. Rarity is very small. She is a little pony. Fuck. Oh. Here's the race car. If you listen carefully. Hear that? Was the race car the, that low rumbling in the background was the race car come on horse come on yeah dad went racing today i did not go uh, 
I didn't go because uh, today's race was in Lebanon Valley, which is in New York, and I hate New York. And I didn't want to go there. Alright, where the fuck? Okay, let's go up here. No! 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 Go the direction I want you to go. Please. Please. And you do it for me. And you do it for me. That is to say, you do it for me. I think that's how the song goes. I hope this is the right way out of town. There's gotta be a stable here, right? I don't think there's a stable in Kakariko Village. HORSE! Guys, I don't know about this horse. I think he's fundamentally fucking broken. Actually, I think all horses are in this game. They just piss me off. No. <laughs> High defense and low intelligence. Yeah, no shit. Just fucking does whatever he wants. Fucking stop it. If this is a Yiga clan member, they're fucked. No, 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 no. That would have been bad. My god, he just like steers himself into hills. <laughs> He's like the best horse ever, but at what cost? headed the right way. But first, let me look through my book here, see if there's any more art that isn't cringe that I can scan. That one's cringe. Oh. Oh, this is when I didn't know how to draw breasts. Oh, no. Not nude breasts, but like, I just did not know how to draw girls. And it's just like, it's bad. No, there's no, like, there's no nudity, but, like, I'm bad at it at this point. Oh, that's cringe. That's cringe. That's cringe. Nope. Bad. 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 Here's a drawing of Miku. This one's a little better. This one's a little better female part. I think this is when I started getting, like, I started understanding how to draw girls a little better. And it's not, like, horribly cringe. But we'll scan this one.
Uh, update from the con that Isu's at. Isu has sent me a DM. Just saw a Chocola cosplay. Huh. Let's, uh... <laughs> Why? Why? Oh. That's too bad. Sorry, my allergies are bugging me because I think... So, I had... One thing I don't know if we've ever been over. I've never thrown away... Well, I, I, this, that's an exaggeration. I'm gonna say I've kept 90% of every wire I've ever had for anything. So, in the big spring cleaning effort, I finally... I didn't organize any of them either. I finally went through and organized all of them and wrapped them and, like, actually separated them because before, they were just three large tubs of spaghetti nonsense. So finally, today, I sat down and, and untangled these huge, huge, like, spaghetti nonsense piles. Yeah. I spent, like, three hours a tub of, like, wires. It was bad. But, yeah, finally, I, like, I found, like, like, wires for every phone you could ever fucking imagine. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I got tricked by this earlier. And I died to this a couple times. That's a Yiga Clan member. I'm not even gonna fucking... I'm not even gonna try. I got fooled the first time, and then the second time I was like, Okay, I got this, and I fucking got killed. So, you know what? Fool me three times. Super shame on me. Alright, you guys ready for Miku? There you go. There you go. See, that one's not too bad. In... In comparison. Oh, why did that jump off? Yeah, I don't know why I wrote Miku Hatsune. I don't think I understood how Japanese uh, language worked. Horse! I swear to Christ! I am going to have you euthanized and turned into glue. I swear to God. Twenty eleven. Yeah, most of the art uh, in here is well. No, that's not true. Uh, the art's gonna be like range from two thousand seven to twenty twelve. A lot of it. That was my real big art phase. I don't think I'd ever drawn a pony at this point. Twenty eleven. I had just gotten into My Little Pony. Just gotten into it. And and goddamn, if I was not afraid to show it at school, goddamn. It was bad, guys. Like I I had like a brony shirt. And like that's one thing is that I I'm finding all of my misplaced brony merch while um cleaning up. And uh I haven't thrown away a single one of them, because it w it does bring back good memories. I I really I have a lot of good memories connected to my brony period. Yeah, I would draw... I did ponies for my uh, economics class in, in senior year. So here's Hateno Village. We finally fucking made it. This place has got to have a stable, right? Come on, horse. Fine, I'll find the real entrance. Horse! I'm gonna have you euthanized, I'm not joking. I don't think any towns have stables. God. 
fine. Then the horse is staying here. You live there now. Goodbye. Kumquat Pinky Pie. Huh. There's a shrine very close to this town. Any good armor? Oh, yeah. Well, that's the same. What about this one? It's cold resistance. That one's a little better. Yeah. Yeah, that one's a little better. Added weight. Oh, they're distinctly high defense and the metal plates are made from, but the added weight gets takes some getting used to. Oh, does it actually change how you move? Huh. Oh, there's the shrine. Let's do the shrine so this thing stops fucking beeping at me. And while I'm climbing, let me look through and see if there's any more cringe art for me to skip over. Oh, making climbing more difficult. Really? Oh. You can do it, Link. Here, I'll jump. There you go, yeah! Mahai! Okay. Ah! <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute! Oh, yes. Yes, excellent. Hold on. Excellent. Hey, I found uh I found my first ever My Little Pony drawing. Yo, let's all get pizza. Excellent. Yeah, I'm I'm scanning. That doesn't really help me with any sort of hints. Ooh, this one. Oh, boy. Okay. Alright, let's see that first ever My Little Pony art. Oh, look who it is! September 15th, 2011. So close to the 10th anniversary of 9-11. And what was I doing? Drawing this. Oh no. No goddamn wings. Yeah, that's true. This is Gyro, by the way. Human stuck. Ow! Oh! That was beans. Come on. Well, this looks awful. It's not too bad. It's not that bad. Oh, come on. I'm just lucky the 8 bit though has gyro controls because I would hate to have to keep switching over. Uh, to different controllers every time I had to use gyro.
My childhood human stuck pony art was too boobular. Really? Yeah, no, Melly, this isn't. This is when I kind of learned how to tone down the boobularness of it. Oh, I'm gonna have to, like. Hold on, I'm gonna have to, like. Because before it was just like, ah, yes. Two lumps. That's boob, babe. You fuck. Oh, oh my god. There's no way to reset the gyro either, which is annoying. I mean, I guess there is. Yeah, completely heterosexual, normal child. Yeah. Come on. That one corridor is, like, clearly at an angle, and it just fucks with me. All right, here we go. Let me look through the book. Uh, hey guys, haven't drawn this notebook in a while. Yeah, I've been drawing in my white paper notebook. Here's what you've missed. Uh, sick of Sharpies. I like Portal. I have a girlfriend. I watched Back to the Future 100 more times. I'm more tired than before. From Ryan Phantom. Great. Cool. Great. Wonderful. Alright, what about this? Here's another Rainbow Dash drawing. I'll scan this. Fuck it. Who is guys? Yeah, excellent fucking question. I don't think that drawing ever got uploaded anywhere. Me. I guess I'm guys. Me from the future. I was very, uh, he was talking to us. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose I was. But yeah, like, I, I, I used to write messages to myself a lot, motherfucker. No, the gyro's fucked up. Fucked up. Yeah, remember when I said before, I said, uh, oh, this isn't too bad. Yeah, I changed my mind. Changed my mind. Depending on the controller, it may be easier to flip it upside down. Really? Okay. I'll try that after this one. Yeah, that, that hallway is like clearly at an angle. Fuck. Alright, I'm turning it upside down. <laughs> Alright, guys! Wait! 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 Wait a minute! Hold up! Wait just one second! Hold on! Huh. Oh. 
That's how people skip this one. Really? Okay. Interesting. That's kind of ingenious. Yo! What the fuck? Wow. Like, they clearly, like, intended for you to be able to do that if you were, like, smart enough to think about flipping it completely upside down. That's, that's pretty cool. That was, that was kind of smart. Alright, I got another Rainbow Dash art here. Here we go, this one's actually a pony. Look at that. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Look at that fucking creature. Why her eye like that? Well, that's what their eyes look like. In the show. I tried to make it kind of more accurate to the show. Look at that beast. Mister! Alright, hold on. She's high, I think. No, her eyes are pink. Is this... Is this my pony? Is this the first version of my pony? Oh, it's horrible. Yeah, I don't know why I was so obsessed with using red, like, red pens at this point. This looks nothing like my final uh, pony design, but I, I think this was, like, my first attempt. Scanning it. Let's go talk to uh, whoever is at the uh, research facility. Oi. What? Hi. Yo. What great weather. <laughs> the East Wind General Store is open. It's just as lively inside there as it is out here. Go take a look. The red and black alicorn. Well, this one's just as edgy, uh, edgy as, as that. Here you go. I think I was mostly just trying to figure out how to draw ponies. Yeah, skull. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he was thinking. He meaning me. This next one is too funny not to scan. I'm scanning this one for sure. One day before 11, 11, 11. Really? Shit. Special talent is human death. Well, that's the thing is that my final version, as you know, his cutie mark is just a flux capacitor, so what's his talent? Hi. Oh, sorry, old lady. Take it. I'll explain to the villagers. You eat, you'll fill. I stole that ladle by accident. Sorry. Time traveling. I mean, that is something he canonically does. He does time travel, so... He knows about ZZ Top and Flea. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, okay, so this one's gonna seem... This one's gonna seem really... Like I was predicting the future, okay? This one's gonna seem like I was predicting the future. I was so close. Just like one more shift in the Earth's gravitational pull or some shit, and it would have been exact. But here you go. <laughs> so close. 
In another universe, I could have opened this up and it would have been fucking Twilight. It would have been Twilight and I would have been like, HOLY SHIT! WHAT?! Uh, that's a pretty good drawing, actually. I think Mordecai looks pretty good. I think Raymond Ash is a little scuffed, but like, if only she had wings at that point. Yeah, right. All right, next up. Let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh. Oh, there's like... Oh, I drew like a red sketch of that drawing. Maybe that's why I was using red pen, so I could see it to trace the sketch onto the, the other page, maybe? Uh-oh! Oh, there's some Phantom Hooves art. I'm not rescanning the Chronicles of Rachel. Fuck no. If anyone wants to read the Chronicles of Rachel, that's available on DeviantArt. I don't... I'm not gonna scan all that shit again. That's like 50 pages of comics. I do... I still am proud of that comic, but goddamn, I'm not going through that effort to scan it all over again. Fuck that. They're on DeviantArt. I don't get that much of a shit. A lot of these probably are on DeviantArt, but I'm just, I'm scanning what I want to back up. Alright, here we are. Oh, is this What's-Her-Face? Is this a small child? Yes! I know you. You're... You're a young adult in the second game. She's... Okay. From what I understand... She's a Sheikah... Who, like, de-aged herself, but de-aged herself too much. So now she's a child in this game. But she, like, perfected the de-aging stuff, so she's a young adult in the second game. I don't know. Hello. This is Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. Do you have some business with the director? That's right. The director's in the back. Terribly busy person, that one. Please try to keep it brief. Are you the director? Yeah. Hello. I imagine you've never seen so many books in one place. Pretty incredible, isn't it? We've gathered all Hyrule's known literature on ancient civilizations here. Is she the one who looks like a goose? <laughs> Like a goose? As for the actual number of books, well... Hmm? Is that... That thing in your waist? Is that a Sheikah? There's no mistaking it. That's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? I've never actually seen one in person. If you could just show me the runes on it, I'd be most appreciative. Stasis. Ah, Magnesis. Yes, yes. The robe bomb and cryonosis. What else? Let's see. That's it for runes, but... Hmm. hmm. Strange. Doesn't seem like you have the basic runes. I don't understand why they're missing. There must be some reason. Oh. Huh? Where are my manners? I nearly forgot to introduce myself. My name is Skyrim. You are Link, right? <laughs> Lady Impa caught me up to speed. You see, we were told a young man holding a Sheikah slate will appear, and you must do all you can to help him. He will be the hope that awakens from the slumber of restoration. His name will be Link. Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. Director. Listen, Mr. Director. This is the real Sheikah Slate. Director? Oh, that's right. I haven't introduced you to our director. Oh. She japed us. Miss Pura happens to be right over there. As the Hateno Ancient Lab tech... Tech Lab Director, Miss Pura is the world's foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. She did it. She's doing the funny pose. Yeah, that's her. Yeah, I guess she is a bit goose-like. 
Yeah, I guess she uh, re-aged herself to young adult, and now everybody wants to fuck her in the second game. But she does the same pose, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I've had the, the stream up the whole time. She became a baddie, yeah. I have the utmost respect for Miss Pura and all she's accomplished. I'm honored to be her assistant. On that note, Lake, you see, the director may look like a young girl, but, well, maybe it's not my place to tell you these things. She may look like a young girl, but really, she's a 300-year-old dragon. My favorite trope of all time. <laughs> hey, are you surprised? The director of the laboratory is not Skyrim. It's me. Snappity snap. Anyway, Linky, do you remember any dreams from your time in the Slumber of Restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last 100 years, but something must have happened in all that time. Well, no matter. I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Linky? What's with that look? You just still remember me, right? Eh? Really? Well, I'm so shocked. I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from this. Even though, a hundred years ago, I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Ganon fatally wounded you. That was you? You took me there? You debuffed me? <laughs> Even though I was the one who put you safely into the Slumber of Restoration. Despite all that, you still don't remember me? <laughs> As expected. After 100 years in the Slumber of Restoration, the subject has lost all memories. Noted. Oh, sorry. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Anywho, do you have any questions for you? For me? Aren't you a child? <laughs> How very rude. Hmm. Perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose that's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. She Detective Conan'd herself. Well, I say failed, but in some ways it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. Anyway, enough about that. Definitely don't read that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are, after 100 years. You heard to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment. And to rescue beloved Princess Zelda. That is, if you've got the courage to try. And to help the one true hero, I, the one and only Pura, will restore the basic functions missing from the Sheikah Slate. And what do you say to that? Yes, please. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. All right, then. First, I need you to run an errand for me. What's with that look on your face? You don't think I'd fix your Sheikah Slate for free, did you? I did. Hmm. Post-slumber of restoration. Subject is plagued by... Presumptuous tendencies. Let me explain what this errand entails. You know the unlit furnace on the wall just outside this laboratory? Could you please... What did you say, homo homo? <laughs> Could you please bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace in town? Oh, and also use it to light our furnace. The sweet... That's what she says. Oh, humma, humma. I see. Uh, <laughs> the sweet little guidance stone will start working once you do that, allowing us to restore your missing runes. Huh. I wonder if women, young women these days still say things like sweet and little. Oh, well, I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. Wow. Okay. I'm counting on you for that blue flame. Chicken time. Los Poyos Hermanos. All right, let me look through this book. See if there's any more cringe. Oh, did I ever scan this? Hold on. Did I? Yeah, this is another early phantom hooves. Look at that. Oh, I can just... I can see through the page. I can see through the page. I think it's me talking to the horse. Guys, what the fuck is this emote? I I don't know. That's a global Frankerface Z emote. That is something. Uh. 
Oh. Okay. Well, I guess I'll scan this. Some of these are cringe, but you know... You know... You know what they say. To be cringe is something something. I don't know. Whatever. So, I guess I have to get the blue flame and carry it all the way up this hill again. No wonder this is all the way on this hill. They just want you to suffer. Oh yeah, I met the big, uh, the big Korok. I met the big Korok, uh, off stream. And he was like, oh yeah, somebody stole all the Korok seeds from my, uh, maracas. I need you to get them back. I didn't know that's why you were collecting all of the Korok seeds. I didn't know you were collecting them to put back into his maracas. That's very funny. All the Koroks, like, stole a s one seed each. Out of his maracas as a prank. Caracas, yes. All right, we're looking for a blue flame. La -la -la. Where is the blue flame? What is this place? Hey! Oh. What's up? Oh, you can dye your clothes? Oh my Christ. What are you? from Wind Waker. <laughs> which reminds me, which reminds me, I ran into Beetle just out and about. Hey. And I was like, oh, it's Beetle. Oh, look at that. I didn't realize you could die close. It's cool. Oh, I see. Bug. <laughs> well... Green. Link green. Oh, looks good. Content warning chicken boobs. Wow. Okay. Man, Zelda. Zelda has some bad looking things. Hello. Um. Yeah, I'm strong. My Gramps is dead now. That's nice. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, yeah. Here's me. Uh, who's a good Rainicorn? Why did I say Rainicorn? Oh, like... That's like an Adventure Time thing. I was really into Adventure Time. It's... I think that's Rainbow Dash. Yeah, it's it's supposed to be like Rainbow Dash and me. That's what it is. All right, let's keep looking at the cringe. Oh no! 
Oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's a lot of Rachel stuff in here. That is being skipped. That is being skipped. Oh, and then it just ends. Okay, cool. Great. Alright, next book! There's probably a lot of Rachel art in this one. But I am gonna... St oh my god, I like ripped out like most of this book that's hilarious i wonder if i took all of the rachel art and like threw it out <laughs> that's possible <laughs> that might be that may be the case that may be the case but i will scan i will scan the cover of this book because it's a classic drama there's no drama Why did everyone know I know have an OC named Rachel? Was yours also because of Blade Runner? Yeah! Yeah, OC. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, OC. Let's go with that. Where's this blue flame? No, Rachel's my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel's, like, Rachel was my girlfriend at the time. And I drew a lot of her. No, you can Omega Wall. <laughs> I don't care. I dated my mom. I did not date your mom. Oh, here's the flame. Uh, do I have a torch? I don't. Can I just light anything? Can I just do that? Will this stay lit? Is there some trick to this or... Oh. There's a trick to this. I see. <laughs> you dated Cassie's sister. Nah, but I, uh, I, I was really, I really went through like an art phase when I was, uh, dating Rachel. So there's like, oh, sheep. There's like a lot of Rachel art. I see another lamppost here, but I don't know if there's like a closer one. I don't know how long it'll be before this burns out. Oh. Ow. 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 Should probably stay on this side of the fence. Oh, there is another lamppost. Dummy. Talk to the sheep. I, I've got bad news. I don't think I can talk to the sheep. I can kill the sheep, but I don't think you want to see that. I'm not going to kill the sheep. Oh, are there lampposts throughout the town, too? Oh, yeah, you're right. So there are multiple paths. Interesting. Well, I'm just setting the town on fire also. Oh. My Korok leaf. It's okay, I'm not actually sure where the next lamppost even is. Alright, 
let's see here. Uh, oh, it cropped it all shitty. No, wait, it didn't. No, it didn't crop it all shitty. This is what this one looks like. Uh, this one's just like me down in the corner, which is all blurry because the scan was weird. And uh, <laughs> there's an AR up at the top. And not only that, here's a bunch of shitty little cat stickers that Brit sent me. <laughs> I love these shitty little cats. So if this has stickers from Brit on it, then... No, I was still dating Rachel at this Why does this have stickers from Brit? Did I stick these on later? I may have, come to think of it. Uh, is there anything worth... Is there anything worth taking from this book? Let's see. Anything worth saving? Who the fuck is that? Oh my god. I think this is my first attempt at a fan troll. Alright. Scanning. So, oh, do I have to light the signs on fire? Is that, is that what this is? All right, soup ladle. Come on, soup ladle. Confirmed. Signs not flammable. I guess I just have to make it to that lantern. I've done it! I've solved your blue fire puzzle. There he is. This was my, my first attempt at a, a Ryan Phantom Trollsona. What up, small child? I did your task. Uh, let's see. Why so cryptid? I don't know. He'd just be looking that way, I guess. Uh, let's see. Oh. <laughs> Alright, that one's definitely on DeviantArt. This actually looks kind of cool. Damn. I, I don't know. Oh, I think I was going to have a spin-off comic with the two gay girls. The gay girl OCs from... <laughs> Listen, that's a whole thing. The Chronicles of Rachel was going to have a spin-off comic featuring the two uh, girlfriends... OC, two girlfriend OCs from the Chronicles of Rachel who are from the future. And I only drew one page and it looks pretty good artistically so I'm going to scan it and show you. My sweet little guardian stone. Guidance stone. You sure know how to make this old research's heart flutter. Well then. Let's go ahead and restore the Sheikah State runes for you. you. Give me a nice snap. Go on, no time to be shy about it. Snap. <laughs> nice one. Okay then, Sheikah State repair underway. Guiding stone lock removed. Here, look at this page. Ah, I didn't even scan correctly! 
Man, I swear it looks cool. I swear it looks cool, but it's blurry and it didn't crop correctly. I swear it's cool and it looks cool and good. I did it with markers. Dave Strider. Where's Dave Strider? So Dave's what? Where? What? Are you saying this is Dave Strider? Is that what you that's not Dave Strider? Those, those aren't homestucks! None of those are homestucks! Oh, the top one looks like Dave Sprite. Yeah. And the next page is Friska and Terezi, but yeah, these drawings are all on DeviantArt still. I know that for a fact. Yeah. Yeah, these ones are all on DeviantArt. These ones made it. These ones made it to DeviantArt. Oh, there's still so much left. I think I have to sort through this, like... I think I should sort through this off-stream and decide what I'm actually going to scan. And what I'm not going to. And then, like, continue this tomorrow. Because there's a lot. And, like, a lot of it probably isn't even worth like, bringing over. <laughs> it's all trash to me. It's all trash to me, but we should... We should preserve it. For the betterment of mankind. For people to learn how not to draw. Ooh. Now, let's do this thing. Oh, that's how I unlocked the camera. I was wondering, I, I could have sworn there was like a selfie mode in this game. And I was like, where is that? Here it is. Oh, yes, camera. What is this? Hyrule Compendium? Oh, it's like, oh, that's cool. And it's done. So, is it all fixed up now? Let's see here. Which one is it? Camera, Hyrule Compendium, album. Looks good. So I know this is sudden, but hear me out. Take a picture of me with the camera. Oh, and don't forget to let me see it. All right. Pura. Sparkle on. Sparkle on. It's it's. it's That's what you wanted me to do, right, Fura? No? Okay, fine. Here. Here, blurry. Snap. How's the picture taking going? Did you get a cute pic of me? Yep. Can't wait to see it. Let me see. Oh, can I pick the wrong one? Aw, oh, damn. Hmm? Who's this beautiful young creature? I like how I just, like, took a blurry fucking photo. Huh? I guess that's my cue. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. It wasn't on purpose. Hmm. Aww. It's not just pretty girl in these images. Yes, there are also some old landscape photos stored in the album. 
I knew Princess Zelda had made frequent use of this camera feature, but this... Hey, Linky, it dawns on me that you were Princess Zelda's appointed knight, which means... There's a strong possibility that you accompanied her to all the places where these pictures were taken. <sighs> all right, the lost memory thing could have proven troublesome. But don't lose hope. It just means these pictures could be missing piece to help restoring your lost memories. If my hunch is correct, I suggest you check in with Impa. She knows more about Princess Zelda than I even do. <laughs> oh yeah, there's just one more thing I need from you. You don't have to worry about this until after you see Impa, but I want you to bring me back some ancient materials. Bring them to either me or Robbie at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. As if my joy weren't enough. If you bring us ancient materials, we'll give you something good as a reward. Cool. I actually have some ancient materials. Glad you asked. If you bring me ancient materials, I'll power up your runes. You'll need three ancient screws to power up your Sheikah sensor. Okay. I have ancient materials. I do. Stop. Wow. Does she act like this in Tears of the Kingdom, too? Was she just, is she just like always like this? Pretty much? Okay. She's kind of funny. I like her. There we go. If your sensor has been augmented to search for things other than shrines, it will react when you are close to the thing you have set to, to look for. Head in the direction where the direct reaction is strongest. Oh, okay. Cool, so you can set it to look for other things then. That's useful. Can I set it to look for Koroks? Probably not. My little guidance stone did the trick. Oh, the Sheikah sensor plus. I really want to see it. Yes, quite. So if you don't mind, how about showing Skyrim that spiffy Sheikah sensor later? Yeah. Good evening. You've acquired the Sheikah sensor plus. That could really come in handy. Uh, I haven't played Age of Calamity, but she's in that too. She's like the actual age she looks like. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Explaining won't do it, Justin. Why not learn by trying? Uh, let's give it a shot, so to speak. Let's see here. First, go take a picture with the sun trim with the camera, the one behind the lab. Oh, outside. Oh, it's raining. Sunshroom behind the lab. Sunshroom behind the lab. Am I going fucking... Oh, that's a sunshroom. Okay. Yo, ho. Oh. Ah, were you able to take a picture of a suncher? Let me confirm. Oh. Seems like you got a picture of a suncher. Excellent. Next, open your Hyrule Compendium and tune the sensor to your picture of a suncher. Oh. The Sheikah Sensor Plus will then be able to sense the sunshrooms. The detailed instructions are written down in the book on the desk there. You should read them. It seems like a nice opportunity to ask if you wouldn't mind bringing me three sunshrooms. You can find sunshrooms growing in the Retsum Forest, I believe. The, the Sheikah Sensor Plus should make it snap. It's 
right. I wanted to go read her diary, even though she didn't want me to. Is this a door? That is not a door. This is definitely her place. <laughs> Research diary for anti-aging rune classified for Purr's eyes only. Date. Huh? Work has finally begun on my anti-aging rune. If all goes to plan, I believe it will effectively reverse the aging process. This technology will enable us to make retired warriors lung again, young again, lung again, thereby strengthening the Hyrulean army. When Calamity Ganon inevitably returns, we'll be ready. Our fence will be solid and our defense impenetrable. The need for this tech pains me, but I truly hope to use it to attain everlasting peace for all. Date. I don't know. The beta version of my anti-aging rune is complete. I've already added it to the Sheikah slate I made for myself. Since I am to be the test subject of this experiment, Skyrim booted up the rune and directed its rays in my body. After 20 seconds of exposure, I felt extreme fatigue and broke into a fever, forcing us to cease the experiment. Unable to stay awake, I went to bed immediately. Tomorrow, I will try to figure out what went awry. Anti-aging experiment trial, day two. My extreme full-body fatigue is slightly improved, for which I'm grateful. Still, I do not recognize my own face in the mirror. My hair is thick again in floor length. My wrinkles, once deep as trenches, have vanished without a trace. Seems the anti-aging effect works. However, I did not expect the reversal to happen so frighteningly fast. This morning, I kicked Skyrim awake and had him run a full physical exam on me. My height, my weight, vision, bone density, heart, blood. We tested everything we could, pushing our facility to its limit. Our discoveries were startling. My results were typical for a Sheikah woman in her early 50s. In other words, I've reversed my age by more than 70 years in a single night. I can only hope I do not awaken to find I have the body of a newborn baby. Well, I got bad news. Anti-aging experimental trial day three. I awoke with an abundance of energy. It has been decades since I slept so well. Upon waking, I immediately checked the mirror, only to be greeted by a youthful version of myself. According to uh, Skyrim's... Whatever, I'm done with the Skyrim bit. Simon's e examination, I have the body of a Sheikah woman in her 30s. 30 years old. I was around that age when I was first able to continue my research following the Great Calamity. The first thing I did was try to figure out how to expand the functionality of the Sheikah sensor. I was around eight years old when that expansion was completed. I intended to be bequeath this tech to our sleeping hero. I hope the gods that he will be able to assist in the destruction of Calamity that swallowed our Princess Zelda whole. Anti-aging experiment trial, day four. Well, I'm a baby! After today's routine physical, the results show that I have the body of a Sheikah woman in her 20s. I haven't felt this good in a century. This is all taking me back to when the Great Calamity happened. Ganon had been dormant for 10,000 years. Perhaps his power had been building all that time. The slaughter that followed was arbitrary and merciless. The destruction complete. We lost everything. Hyrule Castle, Princess Zelda. Well, perhaps not everything was lost. A youth named Link was brought to me a hundred years ago, covered in wounds and on death's doorstep. Link, so young, yet so courageous. He was the youngest knight to have ever been appointed at the Imperial Guard at Hyrule Castle. He was also a gifted swordsman, who was selected as Captain of Princess Zelda's personal guard. I thought his skills would be enough to defeat Ganon in glorious fashion. Since ancient times, the royal family of Hyrule and the Sheikah uh, researchers have a strong bond. Their pain is our own. We took the swordsman and the Sheikah Slate Princess Zelda left behind to the Shrine of Resurrection. Although the Slumber of Restoration had not been fully tested, we decided to put the swordsman under to save his life. It was the best we could do. Next page. Anti-aging experiment trial day five. I woke to something horrifying. A scarlet lump scarring my otherwise youthful face. After analyzing this monstrosity, I have come to the conclusion that it is his pimple, a big one. The results of today's physical exam indicated that my body and mind have been reverted to those of a teenager. I feel Simon looks at me differently, which irritates me. 
I got angry when he insisted on running my blood test for me. I mean, really. What even? What even? <laughs> I can do it all by myself. In any case, I wonder what experiment I should focus on next. The blue flame in the furnace outside is growing weaker by the day. I do hope the guidance stone doesn't stop working. Age six. Day six, sorry. It might as well be age six. Oh my god, it is six! Wow! My age reversal has progressed further still. I now look and feel like a six-year-old. My height has regressed so much that I can no longer reach things in high places. It's super annoying. Where is that genius swordsman we placed in slumber of restoration anyway? Wake up already! If he doesn't awaken soon, my feature expansions for the Sheikah sensor will go to waste. But even if he does manage to wake up, how can I be sure that he'll find me here? I want to go and just kick Linky awake, but I doubt Simon would help me. It'd be hard with a six-year-old body anyway. Instead, I think I'll begin working on a rune to unreverse my aging process. Day 7. This morning's exam results indicated that I am still age 6, same as yesterday. Perhaps my age reversal has stopped. As luck would have it, today I also have fin finished developing the beta version of an age-boosting rune. If successful, this should be able to reverse the effects of the anti-aging rune. I hope it will, anyway. All I need to do is increase the output and expose myself to its rays. However, when I tried to add this feature to the Sheikah Slate I made, I found that the Guidance Stone had stopped. What's more, the blue flame of the furnace outside has gone out. I sent Simon to the ancient furnace, but he was too clumsy and it was raining and nothing went to plan. So I had to go down there to help, but a girl in the village saw me. What a mess I've made. Not only am I unable to continue my research in this state, I can only work by the light of the gas lamps. What to do? Poor Pura. Poor, tiny child Pura. Whoa, the wind is fucking me over here. Alright, let's go back to Impa. Guess I can just teleport there, huh? I got turned to spaghetti, Luigi. No, Mario. I gotta go in there, Luigi. The spaghetti. Can you make, uh, caramel apples in this game? I don't like a caramel apple. You can make baked apples. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, great. Ah! I heard Pearl was giving you the run around, or a run around, but you seem just fine. Find? Fine. Yeah. Honey, maybe. Okay. Now then. Let me see. Oh. Ah, this is without a doubt the camera that Princess Zelda used a hundred years ago. She really was just like an Instagrammer, huh? Ah. It could be that if you visit the locations within those pictures, you'll be able to restore some of your lost memories. Come back here once you've tried going to at least one of those locations. Oh. There's something I wish to give to you. Oh my god, my frame rate is going nuts. What just happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what are you doing? Why is this happening? Well, whoa, help, help, help. All right, it's good now. I was actually just about to end the stream, uh, and then that happened. Uh, I'll be back normal time. I'll be back in like four hours with the Cassie stream. I will see you guys then. Bye.